You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris on this Thunder Road Thursday. Good Thursday to you, sir. Yeah, and the Thunder Road thing. People are just they're eating that stuff up. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't room? love that? That's a great prize. Because Every... they, they, yeah. they, they win you know, a $25 gift card for Thunder yeah. Road. Uh-huh. And then I will notify them by email. And it's almost immediate. I get back, oh, thank you so much. Yeah. This is so great. It's pretty exciting. And they use exclamation points. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, kind of a big it's deal. Good. Yeah, yeah and we're going to have a winner <laughs> later in the program. If you would like to be qualified to win, sign up now, sunnyradio.com. Right. And it doesn't hurt to maybe slide us a couple bucks if you see us in public. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it doesn't help either, but it doesn't hurt. I don't know if you're a fan or not, but I am. It's Pink Cadillac Day. Oh, yeah. So anyone who's ever been a Mary Kay distributor, (laughs) is that still a thing with with Mary Kay? It is. Because it used to be, I remember, 70s and 80s, man. You saw a lot of pink Cadillacs flying around. Now I think they do SUV Cadillac. Different deal? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I saw a pink Cadillac Escalade. I guess I didn't realize. Yeah, that probably was a Mary Kay lady. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, that was just a, a, a big thing. Of course, Aretha Franklin had a huge uh, hit tune about yep. it, too. Pink Drive, Cadillac. Pink Cadillac on the freeway of love. Hey, New Year Vision White, how'd you get those pants so tight? <laughs> hey, Aretha, thank you to stay out of my personal business. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. I think we covered that. Who's having celebrity birthdays? Glad you asked. Uh, as an actor, the guy's pretty phenomenal. Uh, Colin Firth is 62 today. Yeah, oh, yeah he, he is, is pretty good. Cool. I uh, was not aware of him at all until a couple of friends of mine, my evil uh, stepsisters, Dirksen and Mrs. Christofferson, dragged me to uh, the first week it opened to a little film called The King's Speech. Oh, yeah. I have not seen that one. Starring Colin Firth. Phenomenal film. Really? Phenomenal. Yeah, and then I'd catch him next in The Kingsman the Secret yeah. Service that was, was just a that riot. Was, our daughter loves yeah. that movie. Mm-hmm. And he was in like Love Actually and all kinds of stuff as time has gone on. So happy birthday to Colin, 62 today. Uh, Selma Jimenez. I don't know who that is. Selma Hayek. Oh. oh. Okay. See, I, I dig I know deep. Her. I know what I'm doing. She's, you. Can you believe she's 56 today? She yeah. looks phenomenal. She looks amazing. Doesn't look a day over 36. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. She must work out. People don't know it. Probably her biggest uh, dramatic whirlwind and nominee. In fact, I think uh, she played uh, Frida, that film Frida, 2002. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Her, uh, her uh, eyebrow picked up Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> And Gloria Estefan is uh, on Medicare today. She's 65. Oh, nice. Oh. Believe it or not, Gloria Estefan, of course, Mammy Sound Machine. You yep. want a quick little dramatic yeah. reading? Oh, uh, maybe sure. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It won't take long. Come on. Shake your body, baby. Do the conga. <laughs> I know you can't control yourself any longer. <laughs> Feel the rhythm of the music getting strong. <laughs> Don't you fight it till you tried it. Do the conga beat. Conga. <laughs> Thanks. I'm tearing that, up over here, Dan. I know, man. It's uh, it's, it's crazy. All I always like this guy. This is pretty crazy. It was this day. In, this was just nuts. 1979. Clayton Moore, who played the original TV Lone Ranger. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. you with me so far? This day in 79, he is ordered by a Los Angeles court to stop wearing his Lone Ranger mask. Why? Because whoever developed the Lone Ranger, whatever, they had, you know, trademarks and everything else. Now, keep in mind, at this point, Clayton Moore is 65 years old. Yeah. And he would still run around and put on his little outfit and his little mask. And <laughs> He was the Lone Ranger, though. He was the Lone Ranger. But, yeah, he got a cease and desist to court order. <laughs> to quit wearing the knock it off. Yeah, he's That's 65 years old. That's embarrassing. It's no, not embarrassing. What it's it embarrassing is, they made him do that. Hilarious, because he became a, a homeboy before that, 1964, he left the West Coast. He actually landed in the Twin Cities. Really? Golden Valley, Minnesota, which is a suburb of Minneapolis. Yeah. Got a realtor's license and founded and fired up a little thing called Ranger Realty. I'm not making this no up. No kidding. I was trying to think if he was going to be like the lone realtor. Or... So did he wear his getup for that? Yeah. Is that why they sent him a cease and desist? It was awesome. Well, 20 years later, this is 1964, he moved to the cities. Anyway, so he fires up Ranger Realty. 
And somewhere along those lines, it was back in the day where he had a little neighborhood grocers and, you know, independent business everywhere. Well, he walks into a grocery store. Well, they had just been robbed. Oh, no. And the owner of the grocery store is actually behind the counter tied up. Oh, my gosh. Like, well, unties him, brings him to, and, and says, you've just been saved by the Lone Ranger. Nice. Yep. Sounds like maybe this guy had a screw loose. No, he was the Lone Ranger, Heidi. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho silver wow. away. Isn't that something else? Holy cats. It was 1939 this day. Now, again, I'm Polish and proud of it. Yeah. And uh, I dig it, man. Someday I'm going to go to Poland where I understand everything is made of cement. And, and some, <laughs> some people don't realize Ferris is very, very Polish. It really is. It's in 1939, and this is what started all. World War II gets underway when Germany invades Poland. Mm -hmm. yeah. Germany would plow through Poland in about two weeks. In fact, the Polish army met Panzer tank divisions on horseback. Yeah. Because Polacks are insane. And that's why I love them. It's like, whoa, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got a tank. You want to see my, hey, 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 bring it. How many horsepower is one of them things? Uh, Polish army uh, flinging bowling balls at them. They didn't care. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was, uh, man, that's just absolutely nuts. And in 1914, it's kind of sad, really, the last known. Because there are different, you know, different species, different breeds, if you will, of all kinds of animals. But the last known passenger pigeon, female named Martha, would pass away in captivity in Ohio at the Cincinnati Zoo. Mm. That is why, to stay other pigeons, this very day are always uh, seen driving by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and they cannot use the carpool lane. Oh. You guys. Not so. This kind of a sad note there. Well, I know. Yeah. You know. We all know. We just bang forward here. going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many of our guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Culture Club, The Cult, Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort in Cancun, Mexico. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Sunny 93.3, super excited for a fun thing we're doing. This afternoon we'll be at Fireplace Professionals, and tomorrow we're going to be at 247 Sales and Service, and I have Nikki with me. How are you doing, Nikki? Good. How are you today? I am fantastic. I'm excited for tomorrow. I we're going to, be, going to be having a ton of fun together. We are. And we've got a grill that we're giving away, we've got a freezer that we're giving away, and we've got a quarter of beef, which is a huge bundle of beef. Amazing. It's going to be awesome. Now, let's talk about the freezer, because that's the part we're getting from 247 Sales and Service. What kind of freezer do we have? So this is going to be a 14 cubic foot chest freezer. So it's going to store a lot of meat in there. So you can fill it with meat, and then there's still room for some other fun stuff, too. A lot of extra room in there. That's a decent size freezer. Now, in addition to freezers, you guys have a lot of other amazing things at 247 Sales and Service. Let's talk about what you guys have and how long have you been around now? Yeah, so we have been in business now for about four years. It's just Anthony and myself. We're locally owned, um, born and raised here. And we are GE, LG, Frigidaire, Samsung, and newly Z-Line dealers. We also deal in brand new scratch and dent appliances. So anything kitchen related or laundry room related. So we have washers, dryers, Kit or refrigerators, there we go, and stoves, dishwashers, microwaves, and freezers. And, and freezers. <laughs> la, 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 la. A lot, <laughs> lot of great stuff. If you are looking for appliances, I'm telling you what, you can go around and look everywhere else, but before you buy, stop by 247 Sales and Service. Your prices are better than everybody. We are. We try to beat everybody in town. It's not always possible, but we do our best, and most of the time we can beat everybody. Um, yeah, come check us out, um, see what we've got. We've got a lot of in-stock inventory here. So if you're not finding something elsewhere, stop on by. And we are so excited. We're going to be doing a new kitchen at our house. And my wife has been going through it, picking out all the cool stuff. And she's got some weird taste and things, doesn't she? That's awesome, though. It's great. You make your kitchen your own that way. She's like, I don't want a stove. I want a, just a stove top. And then I want a wall oven with a microwave. I'm like, is that even a thing? It is. It is. So if people are looking for a specific 
type of appliance. You guys can find kind of whatever they're looking for, but if they see one that's in here on the floor and ready to go, that's even better, isn't it? Right. We can order if we don't have it in stock or if it's not an item that I have on the floor, we can sit down and kind of take a look at our website, see what's available. Um, most of the stuff is usually in stock and we can get it within a week to two weeks. Um, sometimes, of course, you know, there are those instances where they are further back ordered than that. But we haven't run into too many issues. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of appliances on the floor here. Very nice. If you would like to, I invite you to stop by tomorrow. We're going to be broadcasting from 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. And the cool thing is tomorrow is the final day to register. So tomorrow we're going to actually be making the winner. We're going to announce the winner, make all that happen at 247 Sales and Service. If people would like to stop tomorrow, what is the address so they can find us? Yeah, we are located at 6204 West 12th Street, um, just a few blocks west of Marion and 12th. Very, very nice. And we'll be at 247 Sales and Service tomorrow. And we'll be uh, posting all kinds of photos and stuff on social media as well. Nikki, thank you so much. Thank you, John. Get on out and join us tomorrow. All of the details can be found right now at facebook.com slash sunny radio. If you watch the news, you've probably heard about interest rate hikes and other financial factors that could make you a bit nervous. At bettercreditcards.com, we continue our commitment to help you get a better credit card. On the website, bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Yeah. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Thunder Road Thursday? Well, when we give stuff away, especially when it's the good stuff, a $25 gift card to Thunder Road to nice. use as you please. Thunder Road, of course, the best in mini golf. Go-karts and yeah. 30,000 square feet of state-of-the-art, high-tech, recreational goodiness. Oh, yeah. Uh, Teresa Hagen, it's yours. Woo! All right, Teresa. Teresa. No Hagen. being around the bush today. You just dove right in. Man, right now. There it is. Taking Congrats, care of Teresa. Bidness. Uh, Dwayne Hansen out of Nebraska is having a 60th birthday recently. Okay. You want to celebrate a little bit. First thing he did, he walked into City Hall and said, can I get a couple of uh, employees, a couple of volunteers to come watch this because I'm going to set a distance record hmm. for the Guinness Book okay. of World Records. So he went to the county office and had them come do Yeah, it? and they were a little confused, but yeah, a couple of folks were just getting off duty. said, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll play, man, whatever, dude. They followed Dwayne down to the Missouri River where he launched his uh, homemade boat, about <laughs> 300 and, no, about 850-pound uh Boat, he <laughs> float down to another town about 38 miles away, and he did it in a little over 11 hours and drew quite, quite a crowd on the shores of, of the bank, man, going, yeah, you go, Dwayne. Whoa, dude. So uh, he had a record for boating? What, what was yeah, the boat? Yeah, what was boat? 850-pound uh, pumpkin <laughs> that he'd hollowed out. <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. Just him and his paddle and his pumpkin. So he... Boated a pumpkin. He yeah, he beat, 35 he, he beat the world, world's record by, by several miles. Well, I didn't even know there would be a record for such a thing. I know, right? <laughs> and yet there is. And now Dwayne Hansen holds that record. And I just thought that's it's just kind of a beautiful thing. That really is kind of a cool thing. He did it on his birthday, did you say? He did it for his 60th birthday. And uh, again, it's about 38 miles in a, in a giant <laughs> I didn't know a pumpkin would float. <laughs> Hollowed out. Yeah, huh. as long as there's nothing inside weighing it down. Like a person? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a person in there. But apparently apparently there was more pumpkin than there was person. Yeah, I don't know how many test flights he did or anything else. but How embarrassing would it be to just sink right in front of them? He was just fine. But he, the thing is, he squashed the old record. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. painful. Oh, Dan. People were shouting, oh. hey, Dwayne, Gord Speed, baby. Gord Speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. So there you go. Uh, he pumpkin spiced up his birthday. Nice. Wow. <laughs> oh. You guys. Well, thank you, Dan. <laughs> what? I, mean, I just, I love that. It's I a, do too. I think it's cool. It's human interest. It is human interest. <laughs> Have you ever had an interest in setting a world record? 
Yeah, try yeah. it at once. See, it, I've yeah. always thought that would be a lot of fun. Heidi won't let me do anything. I just don't get them. She's I like, don't get the, the point. no, we're not doing that. I'm Somebody like, oh, else hey. is just going to break your record in like a minute and a half. So even you even if you do, you can say I was the... I was the Guinness World Record holder for you know whatever. There's so many random things anymore. I mean, you get yourself a copy of the latest edition yeah. of the Guinness Book, and you go, oh, really? Seriously? I can do that. I've and submitted a couple yeah. things to Guinness to see if it would be a world record, and they said no. So. Yeah, well, like you say. So they said, no, that's not going to work. Okay, what's so I, well, apparently. I mean, anything could be a world record. You could just say, hey, I did this, and it's a record because nobody else has beat that yet in your book. Yeah. So make yeah. this a category. Well, I've submitted a few, and they said no. So that's not <laughs> it's not as easy as you might think, Heidi. But thank you for your well, inspiration. Well, you can start your own world's record book. Yeah. When you think about it, the Guinness World Record, you know it's run by? Guinness Beer. Guinness Beer. It is not. It is, too. It is really? the Guinness World. Dan, am I making it up? Guinness Beer. That's who Me, the Guinness. I don't get between you two, no. <laughs> I have no idea if that's accurate. It I don't accurate. either. It is absolutely I accurate. seriously have no idea. Well, some of us have checked into this, and I know that it is accurate. <laughs> now I'll find out I'm wrong and have to recant all of this tomorrow. You were wrong about the whole Visine thing that you were talking about earlier. So, All right. Hey, Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, in case you don't know, so we don't leave you. Heidi just mentioned Visine. Visine does not cause diarrhea. It's, it does not. It's just, I, I absolutely it's kind of an urban it myth there that John hooked up to somehow or another, so... Don't you uh, worry. If, if uh, taken properly, follow directions. Uh, Visine will just get the rat out. <laughs> yes, there you go. All right, Dan, thanks for coming, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Have a great day, everybody. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. While other wireless companies raise their prices, Mint Mobile is taking a different approach. You can get premium wireless for just $15 a month. Let's say that again so you hear it right. $15 a month for unlimited premium wireless. Why would we do that? Because we can. If you're paying too much for your wireless phone, it's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, September 1st, 2022. The S&P 500 extended its decline Wednesday, falling a little more than 0.7% at the low of the day after a late-day downdraft. The move was small but sparked by a weak ADP employment figure and has the index below a key technical level. The index price action has fallen back into a downward sloping price channel that has been in place since late 2021. At this level, bearish traders may begin to pile back into the market and drive the index down to retest at recent lows near 3650. The next hurdle will come Friday with the NFP report. It's expected to echo the ADP report and show weaker and weakening trends within the employment sector. The risk is that wage inflation won't subside, however, and add extra pressure to the Fed to raise interest rates. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.